Parents, in this video, I'm gonna give you five ways to connect with your teenager. Now, I don't know about you, I have a teenager in my home and there are times, certain moods, you know, certain times of the month, let's say, that it's harder to connect to my teenager. It's hard to get a read on when they're in a good mood, when they're in a bad mood, when they need space, you know, when they're in a mood to talk. You know, sometimes my daughter is in a great mood and wants to chat a ton and it's awesome. But there are also other times where it's so hard for me to get her to say anything. So here's a few good tips that you guys can use with your teenager and see if you can't get some conversation started. The first way to connect to your teen is make time for it. This is really important. You know, as parents, we can just kind of allow the busyness of life to go and we just miss opportunities. We have to make time, concentrated specific time that we say, we're gonna go grab a coffee or we're gonna go shopping or we're gonna go shoot hoops. We're gonna go do something, parent, teenager together that creates opportunity for conversation. You know, and that has more than one benefit. The first benefit is spending time with your teenager shows them that you value them, right? Anytime we spend time doing something, it shows that we value that time. So your teenager needs to know that you value them enough that you'll set aside time. But the other part of it is that you make it something that's purposeful and beneficial. And, and again, let me just say this, doing a devotional with your teenager is a great way to have some intentional conversation where you set aside specific time, where you could go on to pursue God and find some topics or series that could really be beneficial for you to talk about with your teen. But the key tip here, and the first main way to connect to your teen is you've gotta make time. The second way you connect to your teen, find a shared activity. This is really important. You know, again, as much as it is about setting aside specific time for your teen, it's also sharing in an activity. Because sometimes we, conversation can feel forced if it's just sit down on the couch, sit across from one another, and let's have a conversation. A lot of times our teenagers are gonna say, not interested in that. But if you're doing an activity together and you're showing an interest in things that they care about, they're gonna be more willing to start opening up. So for me with my son, basketball is a love that he has. So going out and being a rebounder and just passing him the ball as he shoots is a great way for me to connect to him. With my daughter, she likes to cook, so I can bring her into the kitchen. And as we're cooking, as we're cutting up onions, you know, we can start having some conversation. She's a little bit more open to that because we're doing an activity together. I'm coming towards them and something that they're interested in. And then conversation just kind of naturally starts to come. Another way to connect with your teen is find a shared purpose. You know, this is a really important thing for families in general, but even with your teenager, you know, this is a time in their life where it's really, that's a very much a selfish, self-focused time that they're just learning about this world and how they fit in it. But it's really important to also create opportunities for our teenagers to see the world that they live in, they can be a part of helping somebody else. So finding a shared purpose, you know, serving in your kid's church at church or being a greeter or going into some community services and working at the food bank or at the homeless shelter, something, anything that's a shared purpose that you guys would serve other people and do that together. Again, that'll create some great opportunities of connection with your teenager that's not going to feel forced. And who knows the kind of conversations that can come out of that experience as you talk about certain people you meet or realizing how little some people have that live just a few miles from your house and just for your teenager to see that and to start learning empathy and and being more of a problem solver than just kind of a selfish person saying everything's about me it's a great opportunity find a shared purpose with your teen another way to connect with your teen is to create family discussion time you know it's it's really important to connect just with your teen but it's also important as a family to come together and again a great way to do that is to do a family devotional to choose a go online to pursue God and find a topic that's of interest or find a series and use that as kind of your platform of conversation, you know, where you get to hear some biblical truth in a video and then there's some great conversation starters and some questions that you can use and have a family conversation as well. Because again, it's important for the teenagers to understand you know, they're a part of a bigger world, but they're also a part of a family and they have a role to play. And especially if there's younger kids in the home that they need to lead and to be a mentor for their younger siblings. And to have conversation as a family, it might allow your teen to be a little more free in sharing things. If a younger sibling who's an elementary kid who doesn't have as much concern about what people think, they're just freer in talking, might create some interesting conversation or allow your teenager to feel like, you know, so-and-so sharing, I can share too. And it just creates a little bit of a different environment, but still connection, important connection time with your teenager, but as a family as a whole. The last tip for connecting with your teen, 
model good behavior. You know, our teenagers are very clued into people that are authentic or not authentic. And we as parents need to do our part of modeling the kind of behavior we're asking from our teenagers. It is a very easy thing in the dynamic of a family for a teenager to be like, you know, you expect all these things of me, yet you don't do any of them. And you're careless and you're irresponsible or you fly off the handle emotionally when you get upset. You know, the more we can model the right behavior for a teenager, the more likely they are to say, okay, it's a realistic expectation that I should behave this way or function this way in the home because I can see that my parents are able to demonstrate and model that for me. And that's just a great way, again, of connecting with your teenager that you're real, that you're authentic, and that you are practicing what you preach. So use these tips and connect with your teenager. It's so important. It's such a key age, and I know it can be such a challenge, but it's worth it. Use these ways and start connecting with your teen today.